Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I asked if you would be interested in a review of Pixel Extended ROM and many of you have commented yes. So in today's video, I am going to dive deep into the Pixel Extended ROM and give you my honest review. So let's get started. First of all, you can check this is the build number which I am using. Now we'll start with the normal. First is the realme settings. As you can see, we have all these options. The force 90 hertz, the DC dimming, the high brightness mode, the sRGB mode, the USB, and also we have the Dolby Atmos. Now, if you go above, you can see we have PE extension option. We will just click on that. And as you can see, we have lots of customization option for the status bar, for the lock screen, for the system, and for the hardware option. As you can see, if you go to the lock screen option, we have this UDFPS customization, which is under display fingerprint scanner customization. We'll click on that. And in the icon picker, as you can see, we have lots of options to pick for the scanner. Let us check with one. For example, if we check with the Captain America logo, now we will close the phone. Now, if I turn on the phone, as you can see, we have that logo. Other than that, we have UDFS animation. We will just turn it on. And as you can see, we have multiple animations. For example, let us try with this bloom option. Now, if I turn the phone off and turn it on and use fingerprint, you can see with the animations. Now, if we go back, we have different options like double tap to check phone. We have display media cover art. We have the pulse. Other than that, we have the ripple effect if we unlock with the fingerprint. In the system, we have net network traffic monitor. We have system icon options in which we can enable and disable whatever icons we want. And we have different options like tap to sleep, clock position, battery percentage, brightness slider, and all the normal options we have. Now, if we go into the system option, you can see we have per app volume control option, we have gesture option, we have layout option and in the gestures there is all the gestures of the realme Y. other than that if we go to the hardware option here is two more options one for the button in which we have these options and the fingerprint success vibration and fingerprint error vibration now let's talk about the performance of this rom if you go to the rom and open the geekbench 6 you can see this is the score for the Geekbench. This is the new Geekbench 6. As you can see, we have Android 13 with 4.14.190 kernel. Other than the customization, the other thing which is new in this ROM is this aux lens working. As you can see, we are on the main camera. If we want, we can switch to the ultra wide lens and we can also switch to the 2x lens. Every lens is working perfectly fine. We click the photo in the video option we have 0.6 we have 2x and we have 1x As you can see, all the lenses are working in videos too. We have portrait mode, we have night side, everything is working perfectly fine. If you want, I can make the Gcam review for the custom ROM. I'm also planning to do a comparison video between iPhone 12 and custom ROM Gcam and a Realme iCam. If you want that video, you can comment down below. Now, let's check the speaker. As you can see, we have the stereo speaker working.
everything is working fine and for the banking apps other than the SBI you know every app is working perfectly fine now let's check the temperature of this device the CPU temperature is 42 degree which is quite normal as it's a summer time and yes book charging is working perfectly fine other than that it has all the same basic functionalities which we have in the other custom ROM in the security as we can see we have the option of face and fingerprint both let me show you as you can see face lock is working perfectly fine now let's check the fingerprint sensor as you can see it is working perfectly fine now let's test with the CPU throttle app Other than that, this ROM is very stable ROM and everything is working perfectly fine. And if there is any bug, if you find any bug, you can just report to our channel with a proper log. And other than that, if you have any issue, you can comment down below. Now, if you have any question regarding this ROM, you can ask in the comments down below and I will try to answer that. And to know how to install this ROM, I have just uploaded a video how to install the custom ROM based on Realme 2 firmware. As this ROM is based on Realme 2 firmware, you need to follow that process. For that, the video link is in the description or in the i button, you can check out from there. And with that process, you can install this ROM and enjoy. And if you have any other queries related to this, you can comment down below. And if you want a GCAM comparison from the custom ROM and iPhone 12 comparison, you can comment down below. Thank you guys.